In the heart of Europe, two cities brim with history, culture, and the sweet aroma of freshly brewed coffee, Salzburg and Vienna. Their cobbled streets and enchanting architecture beckon travelers to explore, savor, and revel in the beauty of the Austrian landscape. Our story begins on a crisp autumn morning in Salzburg where the golden leaves danced in the gentle breeze. Sophia had long dreamed of visiting Salzburg, drawn by the allure of its Baroque architecture and the echoes of Mozart's genius. As she stepped off the train, the air was filled with a sense of adventure. The first thing that caught her eye was the imposing silhouette of Hohen Salzburg Fortress, standing sentinel over the city. Wandering through the old town, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, she marveled at the vibrant facades of the buildings. Every corner held a new discovery charming boutiques and artisan shops offering handcrafted goods. The aroma of fresh pastries wafted from a nearby cafe, tempting her to take a break. She stepped inside Cafe Tomaselli, the oldest coffee house in Salzburg, and settled at a table near the window. The interior was a blend of history and comfort, with dark wood panelling and elegant chandeliers. Sophia ordered a slice of sacha torte, its rich chocolate flavour melting in her mouth complemented by a dollop of whipped cream. As she sipped her coffee, she reflected on her itinerary. Visiting Mozart's birthplace was next. Mozart's house, located in the Getreidegasse, was a short walk away. The narrow streets felt alive with stories from centuries past. On the charming streets of Salzburg, a man captivates passers-by with his puppet, skillfully bringing the wooden figure to life. His performance, filled with grace and nostalgia, reflects the city's rich tradition of artistry and storytelling, enchanting all who pause to watch. Inside the museum, she wandered through rooms that echoed with the notes of the composer's early works. The exhibits showcased his life, from childhood to stardom, and she was particularly captivated by the violin he had played as a boy. After her musical journey, Sophia decided to take a carriage ride through the picturesque streets of Salzburg. The clop of horse hooves against the cobblestones added to the city's charm as she passed by Mirabel Palace, its gardens, a riot of autumn colours. The backdrop of the fortress against the vibrant blooms was a sight to behold. Salzburg. The sculpture Sphera on Kapitelplatz is about nine metres high. It represents a male figure on a golden sphere with a neutral expression. This man might be every man. As the sun dipped below the horizon, Sophia boarded a train bound for Vienna, the capital city known for its imperial history and vibrant cultural scene. Upon arrival, she felt the pulse of the city. The bustling streets, the elegant architecture and the sounds of classical music drifting from nearby concert halls. Her first stop was the historic Inner Estat, the old town of Vienna. The narrow streets lined with shops and cafes invited her to explore. This is where she noticed a most interesting scene. Demel the house of the finest cakes, where every cake tells a story of elegance, indulgence and artistry. We pride ourselves on creating the finest cakes that are not just desserts, but a celebration of taste and craftsmanship. Our master bakers, inspired by tradition and innovation, use only the highest quality ingredients to bring your sweet dreams to life. From classic recipes to imaginative new creations, Every slice is a journey into the exquisite. As she moved along, Sophia found herself in a charming boutique filled with exquisite Viennese porcelain and delicate lace, perfect souvenirs for her friends back home. After indulging in a little retail therapy, Sophia sought out the famed coffee culture that Vienna was known for. At Café Central, she felt transported back in time. The grandeur of the high ceilings and the echo of intellectual conversations made it a perfect spot to unwind. She ordered a melange, a local coffee specialty, alongside a warm apple strudel. The combination was divine, sweet spiced apples enveloped in flaky pastry, paired with the rich, frothy coffee. Sipping her drink, Sophia overheard a couple discussing an upcoming concert at the Vienna State Opera. Inspired, she decided to check out the schedule for the following evening. But first, there was more of Vienna to explore. Rising majestically above the cityscape, the grand Ferris wheel of Vienna is an iconic symbol of the city's charm and history. 
A breathtaking ride that has captivated visitors for over a century, it offers an unparalleled view of Vienna's stunning architecture, lush green parks and the meandering Danube River. As dusk fell, the city transformed into a glittering jewel. Sophia strolled down the Kantner Tor Theatre and the Ringstrasse, admiring the grand architecture of the Parliament Building and the Hofburg Palace. The city was alive with music, laughter and the tantalizing smell of street food. She paused at a vendor selling roasted chestnuts, their warmth a comfort against the evening chill. Chapter 3, A Day of Discovery. The next day dawned bright and clear. Her first amazing view was of St. Peter's Catholic Church in Vienna, a breathtaking sight that left her in awe of its Baroque beauty and intricate details. St. Peter's Catholic Church, Peter Skirka in Vienna, is a stunning Baroque masterpiece nestled in the heart of the city. Built in the early 18th century, this architectural gem captivates visitors with its ornate facade and majestic dome, reminiscent of St. Peter's Basilica in Rome. The church's interior features elaborate frescoes, gilded sculptures, and an atmosphere that invites quiet reflection and awe. A hidden treasure in Vienna, Peterskirche is not only a place of worship, but also a symbol of the city's rich history and artistic heritage. After breakfast at her hotel, Sophia was eager to delve deeper into Vienna's artistic heritage. She visited the Belvedere Palace, home to an impressive collection of Austrian art, including Klimt's iconic The Kiss. The gardens surrounding the palace were ablaze with fall colors, offering a serene space for reflection. Later, she headed to the Naschmarkt, a vibrant market filled with local produce, spices and international delicacies. The energy was infectious as vendors called out to passers-by, inviting them to sample their goods. Sophia wandered, delighting in the sights and sounds, finally stopping at a stall selling delectable pastries. She couldn't resist picking up a few treats, Topfenstrudel and Kaiser Schmarrn, promising herself a sweet evening in. On her way, she visited a once a tropical oasis, the Parman House in Vienna, stands as a stunning example of Art Nouveau architecture. This former tropical house with its grand glass and iron structure now serves as a sophisticated cafe and event space, offering visitors a unique blend of nature and elegance. The lush greenery and historical charm create a serene atmosphere, transporting guests to a bygone era of botanical beauty. That afternoon, she booked a ticket for the concert at the Vienna State Opera, her excitement building as she dressed for the occasion. The opera house was magnificent, and the performance was an enchanting experience, filled with passionate melodies that echoed in her heart long after the last note faded. Chapter 4 Returning to Salzburg, after an exhilarating stay in Vienna, it was time for Sophia to return to Salzburg for her last day. The train ride back was filled with anticipation. She had enjoyed the bustle of Vienna, but she longed for the serene beauty of Salzburg's landscapes. Arriving in Salzburg, she decided to visit the Mirabel Palace once more. This time, she wandered through the gardens, taking in the vibrant colors and intricate floral designs. The sight of the fortress in the background made her heart swell with appreciation for the city's beauty. For her final shopping adventure, she explored the shops along the Getreidegasse once more, this time picking up a beautifully crafted music box, a nod to Mozart's legacy. As she exited the shop, the sound of a street musician playing one of Mozart's symphonies filled the air, perfectly capturing the spirit of the city. Chapter 5. Farewell to Austria. As dusk settled over Salzburg, Sophia decided to end her trip with a final carriage ride. The streets, lit by golden lamps, created an enchanting atmosphere. The gentle clip-clop of the horse's hooves accompanied her reflections on her journey, each moment, each taste, each sight woven into the tapestry of her memories. The carriage passed by the Salzach River, where the reflection of the fortress shimmered in the water. She felt grateful for the experiences, the pastries and the music that had filled her days. Austria had woven its magic around her, leaving her with a heart full of joy and a longing to return. As she prepared to board her train back home, Sophia promised herself that this would not be her last adventure in Austria. The charm of Vienna and Salzburg, with their rich histories and delectable pastries, had captivated her in a way she would never forget. 
The stories, flavors, and melodies would stay with her, echoing in her heart, a reminder of the beauty found in travel and the connections made along the way. And as she left, the last rays of sun dipped behind the fortress, casting a golden glow over the city as if to bid her a fond farewell.